We are now on air. Time for a total takeover. It's finally here. Finally here. Welcome to a new episode. It's about to go down. Greetings and salutations. This is yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the Soulful Conservative, the DA, and the Prosecutor. Coming to you live from the Politically Heat Remote Studios, a.k.a. my vehicle. And this is another edition, a Get Over the Hump edition of the Dan Adams Show. Headed into the 9 to 5, the dropping off the boys at the high school. And uh, finally got the girl on the bus this morning, seeing that they gave us the wrong bus number. But I got her on safely this morning, so... And it ain't at 6.33, Penn Hills. It's 6.39. So dealing with administrative aspects of schooling. And I'm not in the, in the groove yet. Not even close. Well, my son started about two weeks ago. This is his last year, his senior year. And the girl, she started just this yesterday after Labor Day. New school, Westinghouse Academy arts charter school and we are in the midst of them actually remodeling the school so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting first part of the year we'll get through it she'll get through it the school will get through it had her orientation last week and i like what i see i like what i heard and as far as the principal and the teachers and things of that nature it's just going to be a little little bumpy at the beginning but let's go ahead and get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of topics I want to talk about. But first, let me talk about real quick North Korea. Now, I just heard on the radio, ladies and gentlemen, just heard on the radio that after this last test, ladies and gentlemen, this last intercontinental ballistics hydrogen bomb test that was done by the NOCOs, <laughs> that supposedly with this test, some nuclear material was released in the air, I believe, into the atmosphere in China. Now, this is big news, ladies and gentlemen. This is big news because China has been hemming and hawing in regards to what they would do if North Korea did anything in regards to attacking them and attacking our allies in that region. Well... Here we are, North Korea, Korea is still threatening America, threatening Guam, threatening China, threatening Japan, threatening the world at this point, because they have a just complete and utter moon battle over there, Kim Jong-un. And what is this nuclear material that was released into the atmosphere around China going to do to the citizens of China I'm not a nuclear physicist I'm not a individual that has the proper and adequate knowledge of what happens when nuclear material is released into the atmosphere but I do know this if I was China I would have a preemptive strike right now against North Korea they are not going to stop their testing. They are not going to stop their threatening. They are not going to stop their moon badism. So either you take them out now. Take, take them out now. Because Kim Jong-un does not care about the North Korean people. Their damn toilets don't work, ladies and gentlemen. He's using all the money that he is taking in from North Korea for his military efforts and he could give a damn about the North Korean citizens so here we are left with what can we do here there's many things that can be done and it doesn't have to actually be a military strike in the I guess normal aspect of a military strike we can hit them cyber on, on the cyber front cripple them to the point where they can't do anything and then at that point, if we need to do something, you know, on the military front in regards to, you know, bombing them, bombing facilities and things of that nature, then you take it to that point. 
I'm not a military expert, not even close. So I'm going to leave it to the military experts to come up with, I guess, a proper plan, a proper course of action that is needed to combat the sheer moonbatism of Kim Jong-un and North Korea. Keep your eye on this, ladies and gentlemen. We may say, oh, he hasn't done anything to the U.S. yet, but we cannot allow this dictator, <laughs> this complete and utter maniacal mind to just continue to proliferate, threaten, and keep us <laughs> on edge because he just wants some attention, it seems, from what I can see. So, so we go from North Korea to DACA. That's right. North Korea to DACA. Now, yesterday was a news crunch. <laughs> was a blitz of, of news coverage in regards to DACA. And Jeff Sessions coming out and laying out the plan of rescinding President Barack Hussein Obama's unconstitutional executive order entitled DACA. Now, I'm not going to go into the gist and the meaning and the, the, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, as I said, unconstitution, unconstitutional, excuse me. People keep calling it a law. No, it's an, it's an executive action slash order put in place by President Barack Hussein Obama, unconstitutional. So on its merit, which there is none, at face value, Trump has every right to rescind this unconstitutional executive order, executive action. But he's playing it, playing it like Red Auerbach Back in the day when the Celtics were winning championships left and right. He is putting it into the hands of Congress. Yes, the 15% approval rating having Congress. I'm thinking it's less than that, to be honest. I think that's too high. So, he is putting a six-month I guess, <laughs> get your act in order measure for Congress because ultimately, does it take six months, ladies and gentlemen, to put forth a comprehensive, and I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this word, comprehensive immigration reform bill? What are we reforming? Number one, we have immigration law on the books. Follow them. If you want something changed, then that's what Congress is supposed to do enact new law, enact reformed law, and act, I guess, for a, uh, for a lack of words, updated law that, number one, facilitates part of the Trump administration's agenda, building the wall, number one, whatever law that is passed, funding for building the law, for the law, building the wall, ladies and gentlemen, better be part of that bill. Now, I know Trump said that he's going to make Mexico pay it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We all know that he was just talking out of the side of his neck. We all knew this. It is our responsibility to build our own wall. And it should have been built how many years ago? 30, 40 years ago? At least started where at this point, maybe half the wall should have been built, maybe even more. Now, we have individuals on the left and the right screaming and yelling and hollering, including former President Barack Hussein Obama himself, saying it's cruel, it's wrong, and things of that nature in regards to President Trump rescinding DACA. Well, you can save your tissue paper feelings for someone who actually gives a damn. Because, as I stated earlier at the beginning of this particular topic, that this 
executive order slash action is unconstitutional. So, ladies and gentlemen, when are you going to realize that Trump has every right? He has every advantage on his side in regards to rescinding this unconstitutional order and and act put in place. Not a law, ladies and gentlemen, an executive executive order and act put in place by former President Barack Hussein Obama. Now, here we go with the left screaming and yelling. You got individuals in D.C. protesting this rescinding in Spanish, ladies and gentlemen. What an unbelievable happening of events in D.C. and probably across the nation at this point. You got students in Denver walking out in protest in regards to DACA being rescinded. Individuals in D.C. at the Trump Hotel sitting down, standing up, screaming and yelling in Spanish, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're here in America. They supposedly had to run away from whatever Spanish country, Spanish-speaking country that they had to leave from because they were oppressed to come to America to hopefully have a better life for themselves and their families. But yet, they don't want to speak our language. They don't want to assimilate. They illegally enter into America. I'm, sounds like freaking Muslims what I'm talking about here. <laughs> and I'm talking about Spanish illegal aliens living in our country for decades, ladies and gentlemen. And this whole thing about you can't break up the families and the foundations. And they can't go back to their countries of origin because they won't be able to adapt. and things like that. They're not even adapting here. Ladies and gentlemen, they're not even adapting here. So them going back to their countries of origin shouldn't be a problem. They can speak all the Spanish they want. And this whole cockamamie, that's right, cockamamie, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I said it, cockamamie story being put out there in regards to you just cannot do this because you're going to break up families. Well, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for the parents who illegally entered into this country and had these babies, that's on them. If the babies are here and of age and can take care of themselves and have been taking care of themselves, then you know what? Find some form of put them at the back of the line, come out of the shadows, and properly fill out the proper paperwork, do what is right in regards to aligning themselves to where the process is started so that they can become legal citizens of the United States of America. If the parents of these DACA children, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess DACAs is they're calling them, if the parents of these DACAs have been living in America illegally for decades and have not started the process of becoming legal citizens that's on them save your tissue your tissue paper feelings cry me a river i could give a damn you have had all this time decades to start the process of becoming a legal citizen you have been living off my tax money that I give and work my ass off and have nothing to show for it except giving you money so you can survive here in America illegally? You got that one individual on Twitter going back and forth, has been here for dec not dec I don't know how long the guy's been here, to be honest. But brazenly, and I mean brazenly, ladies and gentlemen, Letting everyone know that he's here illegally and he hasn't been deported yet. Can't remember the person's name right off the top of my dome. 
If you go ahead and look at my Facebook timeline from yesterday, you'll find the story. But ladies and gentlemen, we can't we can't allow this. We can't allow for individuals to think that the rule of law is nothing and that they can just break the law and and continually break the law for decades and then they're not going to be held accountable for it. You think the IRS is going to allow you to not pay taxes and you not be held accountable? They're breaking the law. We have immigration law on the books. You had Clinton, both Clintons. You had Barack Hussein Obama on videotape talking about how illegal immigration is crippling America. Illegal immigration should not be tolerated. And when you bring this up, to the liberal leftist numbnut moonbat lamestream media and the Democrat Party here in America, you would think that that particular incident or incidents never happened. And that's what drives me and us, th those of us on the right, or if those maybe up and right smack dab, dab down the middle, drives us crazy. Because these individuals could care less if their precious Clintons and Obama opposed illegal immigration. I'm sorry. Was so, I'm sorry. They did not only oppose illegal immigration. They were on record, videotape, audio tape, every tape that you can think of, saying that it's crippling America. That employers and individuals coming into this country illegally should be held accountable. And what I am going to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now, is I am going to play the clips from the president's F that chick who never became president, but I am going to play these clips right now and end this broadcast with these two clips of then President Clinton and then President Obama opposing illegal immigration. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. You wake up and smell what you shoveling. We all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, we are a generous and welcoming people here in the United States, but those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the law. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. May God continue to bless you and yours. May he keep you and your family safe. God bless. Peace.
if tomorrow is our great getting up morning, uh, if tomorrow we have to meet the judgment day, uh, Heavenly Father, we want you to let our folks know uh, that we died facing the enemy. We want them to know that we went down standing up amongst those that are fighting against our pressure. We want them to know, Heavenly Father, that we died for freedom. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Irma is clobbering parts of the Caribbean. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. That's what the hurricane sounds like as it hits St. Martin. It also did damage in Antigua and Barbuda. For the Florida Keys, if you were going to create the worst case scenario, uh, that's what we're now looking at. Martin Center, Fitz Monroe County Emergency Director. Tourists are under mandatory evacuation this morning. Residents are told to leave the Keys later today. And across Florida, there are long lines in stores and at gas stations. People crowd the pumps. Uh, the pumps often run dry and have to wait for a refill. The governor says there is plenty of gas in the state, that there are no shortages. Fox as Evan Brown was at a station in Pembroke Pines early this morning. Irma still has 185 mile an hour wind, but it's expected to weaken as it nears Florida, and the storm's track keeps evolving. All our current models are saying, guys, this is going to turn on the right side or the east side of Florida. That's Fox meteorologist Adam Klotz. Meanwhile, as Texans keep salvaging what they can for more than 100,000 flooded homes, Congress will today consider nearly $8 billion in Harvey assistance. New York's Attorney General plans to file a multi-state lawsuit today to protect immigrants that had been covered by DACA the day after President Trump ended the program, giving Congress six months to come up with a plan to still help some of those brought here illegally as kids. Fox's John Decker live at the White House. The president taking to Twitter writing Congress now has six months to legalize DACA, something the Obama administration was unable to do. If they can't, he wrote, I will revisit this issue. Meanwhile, Republican Senator of South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham said Congress will get a solution for the approximately 800,000 undocumented immigrants. We're going to deal with these kids through my legislation called the DREAM Act or something like it. So they can stay here. They have to learn the language. They have to pass their criminal background check. Without congressional action, those so-called dreamers could face deportation. Dave? And John President Trump goes to North Dakota later today to talk about tax reform. Fox News, fair and balanced. Another Confederate monument will be coming down in Charlottesville, Virginia. The second one, the city council unanimously voting in favor... And it at times chaotic public hearing last night interrupted numerous times. This week's after a Robert E. Lee statue removal led to that white nationalist rally and a clash with counter-protesters and violence that turned deadly in Charlottesville. There is a search for a missing fighter pilot in Arizona. The F-16 Fighting Falcon went down during a training mission near Safford, which is northeast of Tucson, on Tuesday afternoon. The status of the pilot is unknown, but rescue efforts were immediately started. The aircraft is based out of Tucson Airport, where the Arizona Air National Guard's 162nd Wing is located located. The crashed plane serves as part of the Air National Guard's lead F-16 pilot training unit, and the Air Force has created a safety board to investigate the crash. Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. It's a murder case that's gotten a lot of attention in North Carolina, where a man could use the Cold medicine made me do it defense in the killing of his wife. A first court appearance for Matthew Phelps, charged with murdering his wife after telling a 911 dispatcher he woke up to find her stabbed to death. There's a bloody knife on the bed, and I think I did it. Also that he'd taken cough medicine to help him sleep. Tuesday, the judge telling Phelps if convicted, he could potentially receive the death penalty or life without the possibility of parole. The defense attorney asking the public to withhold judgment. Meanwhile, Bayer, which makes the medicine Phelps says he took, out with a statement extending sympathies, adding patient safety is our top priority, and there's no evidence to suggest that Coracetin is associated with violent behavior. Lillian Wu, Fox News. On Wall Street, stock futures are rising the day after the death.
standing on the sidelines, never in my repertoire. I ride along to the beat to the 16th bar. We engage when my words hit the page. Eliminate the rage, the ongoing saga. Good versus evil. Took another chance, call me Rob Evil. The years pass by, then you look back. Work hard for the house on the cul-de-sac. 2.5 kids in the picket fence. Wondering, does it all make sense? Of course it does. My fam, the priority. I am the authority. You can have it all. You just need balance. Go ahead, plan ahead instead. The weekend arrives. Time to move on. Meet up with your crew and get your groove on. Move your body from right to left. Leave it so high, it's making it sweat. It's time for you to see. You and me in the place to be. Move your body from right to left. So high, it's making you sweat It's time for you to see You will be in the place to be Life is nothing but ups and downs Racing every day to snatch the crown Is my status above the next? Give up my fam, nothing but the best Every day you clock in and clock out Life is automatic, no static Unless things turn tragic, unpredictable Who's gonna step up and break the cycle? Never bargain with those you can't trust Never sat in the back of the bus Unless I wanted to Self-alignment it Went from normal to abstract in an instant That's how we do it up here The air is so clear, nothing to fear The customer is always right I aim to please, so let's take flight Move your body from right to left Leave it so high, it's making it sweat It's time for you to see you and me in the place to be Move your body from right to left Leave it so high, it's making you sweat It's time for you to see You and me in the place to be The best is yet to come, that's the phrase they say My best is always on the way Never falling behind the times A lyrical architect redesigned Most of what you hear and what you see Displace hypocrisy Running rampant in the world of hip-hop Kept on pumping your brakes But you can't stop Join the ranks with potential Didn't measure up to the hype So quizzical, uneventful Your rise and fall Somewhat meteoric, prehistoric Metaphoric, lyrically poetic First first set up, third first I said it We only have one life, so let's live it Melodic MC in the place to be Move your body from right to left Leave it so high, it's making it sweat It's time for you to see You and me in the place to be Move your body from right to left Leave it so high, it's making it sweat It's time for you to see So